Technology without wisdom is dangerous. I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It's Wednesday, April 29th. We're in 1 Timothy chapter 5. I invite you to read the entire chapter. For this reflection, we're going to look at verse 3. Paul writes, Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. Now, one thing, later on in the chapter, Paul will say that those widows uh, are those who are 60 and older. So they're a, a part of the, uh, the seniors in their community. And then I want to look at the word recognition. I looked it up in Greek. The Greek word is tomeo. And another way that it could be translated, and I think is better, is to use the word honor. So to read it this way would be give honor to those widows who are 60 and above, who are elders and are, who are really in need. Honor is a power principle in the Bible. From Exodus 20:12. Uh, the fourth commandment, uh, we hear, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord God is giving to you. It is the first commandment, to hon- when you honor your mother and your father, it's the first commandment that has a promise attached to it. And the root of honor literally means uh, heavy or weighty, as in to give weight to someone. Uh, kind of a, for those who remember the commercials, uh, E.F. Hutton. When E.F. E. F. Hutton speaks, and everybody turns and listens. To honor someone, then, is to give weight or to grant a person a position of respect or even authority in one's life. While honor is an internal attitude of respect, courtesy, and reverence, it should be accomplished, accompanied Uh, by appropriate attention or often even obedience. Honor without such action is incomplete. It's lip service. The Lord God, for example, is honored when people do the things that please him. Parents are honored through the obedience of their children. And elder widows are honored when, the, when, by, uh, when they're recognized for their Christian maturity and character and when they are copied by the followers of Jesus, his church. It is because of the elder widow's value that Paul writes that they are to be provided for and protected by the church in times of need. We live in an age of technology where, of course, technology is king. You're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook or uh, perhaps on the web page of the lakes. Technology is king, but technology is about the how you do something. Wisdom and character is about the what and the why you would do it. Wisdom is the content. Without wisdom and character, technology is simply dangerous. I saw a clip last week on YouTube regarding COVID-19 and Native Americans. The interviewer asked uh, the tr- what the tribe feared most from the pandemic. The young woman nat- who is Native American who is being interviewed answered, We fear to lose our elders for they carry in them our wisdom. Could we, the church, say the same thing? Do we recognize the wisdom, maturity, and character that we need from our elders? Will we listen and take heed? Signing out from the lakes.